Hi there, welcome to the All For One series, where I'll be catching every Pokemon available through the 17 chain Poke Radar method and breaking down the statistics that led to the shiny. I will be looking at the amount of chains broken, the amount of time it took to get the shiny, the steps taken, as well as the amount of resets. In this video, I'll be focusing on Buizel. The hunt for shiny Buizel was anything but easy in my case, and that's because I actually failed the first shiny I encountered. Yes! I don't even know how to celebrate, it finally happened. It only took 94,250 steps to finally get the shiny Buizel. I failed it. I walked in. There was a grass patch in front of it. Oh! On that attempt, I hunted for just over seven hours with no shiny patches appearing until 94,250 steps in. This amount of time spent compared to previous hunts is insanely long, but further stresses that this method is about luck as well as patience. The next day, I decided to pick myself up and try again for the shiny Buizel. This time, I had a bit more luck. Yes! How many steps is that altogether? About a hundred thousand and... A hundred and twenty thousand? Let's go. Shiny Buizel, and I didn't fail it this time. I'm so happy. <laughs> two days, two days of running nonstop to get this. Catching it in a Premier Ball as well, let's go. This shiny weasel took 28,580 steps to encounter. However, to make it easier for us to divide, we're going to say that it took 28,600 steps. If we were to take the statistics of the first failed encounter, the shiny weasel took 94,250 steps, which if we divide by 50, we can find the amount of times the Poke Radar was reset. This gives us 1,885 resets on the Poke Radar. With only two chain breaks, this hunt still lasted just over seven hours. Now, looking at the second hunt, we see pretty much the opposite and get a quick shiny with 28,600 steps. If we divide that by 50, we come to a total of 572 resets on the Poke Radar. With two broken chains, this hunt lasted just over two hours. The 17 chain method has proven that the amount of time it can take to get a shiny patch is determined on luck. However, this adds into the fun of shiny hunting or why I choose it as my main method. When catching Buizel, I recommend just using Premier Balls instead of balls such as Repeat or Quick Balls because this is a waste of resources. The most important part of using this method of hunting is super repels. I usually pick up around 1000 for one hunt to be safe. The next video will be following my hunt for Electric. So that you don't miss that, please hit like and subscribe as well as the alarm button. And finally, I wish you luck on all of your shiny hunts.